Well, hello and welcome back. Today I'm making a beat in the style of Drake from his album View and his song Nine right here in LMMS. If this is something that you might be interested in, stay tuned and don't go away. Well, all right, and welcome, welcome back. So before I get started, I'm going to show you that all the instance of instruments that I've used, they're all stocked and plugins that come in with LMMS, except for the ERS drums, which is the bass or 808 that I like to use. All right, so without further ado, let me start showing you the instruments that I use. So the first, first one is the synth pad number three. So for that, I went right here into my samples, opened it up, and I went into synth as sub effects. And then I went down to pads, and I chose synth pad number three. So this is synth pad right here. So it's number 35, but it says synth pad three there. So when you open it up, right click and open it, and it shows a synth pad three. All right, so from here I chose the choir. Uh, so right here in uh, synth as sub effects, I went into choirs and voice, double click it, and I chose the choir pad number four. So five, six, seven, eight will be number four. So if I open this one up, it'll say choir pad number four. All right, and then from there I chose the arpeggiator. So I went up here and I chose number 11, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna show you what I did to it to make it sound a little different. So then from there I went into my samples and I opened up this one that says drum synth and then from there I went all the way down and I chose the TR-606. So the TR-606 I chose the kick and the snare. And then uh, from there I chose the hi-hat that says Harley HH. So um, I went right here into what says miscellaneous and this one that says hats. And they have a ton of hats right here. Look at all these high hats that they have. I mean, you you could just make a, a beat just using LMS instruments. You don't really have to go out and, and, and download anything. But, you know, I mean, you can if you want to. But I, I just wanted to show you that you can do it with just LMMS. So I chose the uh, Harley one. So where is it? Uh, right here. So this is the high hat that I chose. And uh, I think that's it for the instruments. Uh, except for the ERS drums, I'll have a link in the description uh, below, uh, right? Uh, so you could just download this VST, it's completely free, and it's a very nice 808, and uh, it's right in key, so it just plays uh, whatever um, key you play, it'll be in key. Okay, so uh, you could download this again for free, and I'll have the link in the description below. Now, the, uh, the voice, I actually recorded myself in Audacity, and then I pitched it up a tone, and then I added the echo to it. So let's take a listen to this. Die, die, die. Die, die, die. And that was just me, and I'll show you how I did that as well uh, in, this, in this tutorial. So let's take a quick listen to this beat, and then from there I'll show you how I went about making this beat. Now it's time to show you how I made this melody or how I made this beat. So the first thing I did was I went into YouTube and I put Drake 9 Piano. And then I think I did this before where I show you guys this is where I got my chords. So I pretty much just follow the chord progression from this here. And I build the chords over in LMMS using the synth that I, that I use. So... Um, let me show you what I did to the synth pad real quick. I went into show GUI, then I went into edit instrument, 
Then I went into edit again. And then what I did was um, I went into envelope LFO and I took the attack and I brought it up to about 45. So that way it doesn't attack right away. It takes a while for it for that uh, beat or that uh, instrument to come in. All right. So let's uh, let's do this real quick. So as you can see, it started with the with the D uh, root note. So it's D, F, and A. So I went here, and I went D. Uh, I think I like this, like this. Let me just double check everything. Yeah. So uh, let's find out if this is a, a, a major or a minor chord. So you start from here. So it'll be one, two, three. Then from here, one, two, three. Three, four. So this is a minor chord. And then I left it this long. And then from that note, or from that chord, we went to the C chord right here, which is C, E, and G. So let's go here. C, E. As you can see, it's just skipping every other note. Boom. Right there. So this should be a major note, because if we go here, there'll be one, two, three, four. And then from here, it'll be three. So it'll be one, two, and three. So that's a major chord. All right. And then it'll sound like this. That's what that sounds like. So then I just need to add the other note that I had there. So that would be the D. And then for the other one, it would be an E. So it's an E and a D. So D and an E. See if I'm correct. So the first one is an E, and then the second one is a D. So an E and a D. And here we go, right there. I mean, they're only half, they're not all the way through, like this. But I left mine long. You could do whatever you like with yours. All right, so then that's what it sounds like now. So that's the beginning of, uh, of the beat, right there. So now we're going to go into the second pattern, which is the choir pad. And that's that little noise that it has, like it, it starts slow and then it builds up. Um, I couldn't find anything that could simulate uh, his, so I went with this one here, okay? So I went with the G and the C, whoops, the C right here. So let me just do that over here to show you. So that's the G, but I put it on the second one here because it builds up afterwards. And then this is the C right here. So then I went down, control, and then arrow down. So you bring it down from the C5 to closer to the C4, right? So as you can see on this one here, okay? So that's it for that one. Then the arpeggiator, um, let me show you what I did here. So uh, here, what I did was I went into, I believe it was function. Then I click in the arpeggio right here because if not let me let me have you hear it without it so let's just solo this track so if you hear it it doesn't sound that interesting right but then when you click on this and then you hear it again So a little bit closer to what Drake's sound is. Okay, so in this one here, I put it on the D and the C, which is the first root note of the actual chord. So it's pretty easy. So you click right here, and then you put it on the C, and then you put it on the uh, on the D. Was it C and D? I mean, D and C. 
let's do this again real quick p and c so now let's take a listen to just this here that's what that sounds like all right so then from there i did the kick and the kick pattern is uh, uh it's pretty simple i think he didn't go crazy with that kick pattern so let me show you a little bit just do this real quick here so uh i just kept it like this right there then i put another kick right here right next to it then i believe i put a kick right next to that and then from there two and one from there then i just created two more over here one two and one in the middle here kind of in the middle it doesn't come right over so then i did the same thing again with this one here and i believe i put it like that uh, let me double check again real quick yep i did that so then I repeated that here, and then in this one, I just have one kick solo here and another kick right next to it. So it's a simple little pattern with the kick. One here, and then one here. And then what I did is I took these, uh, this velocity or the note, the volume, and I brought them all the way up. So that way it sounds louder. All right? So that's it. That's it for this one. I mean, nothing else spectacular. All right? So that's all I did for this one. Now, in order for my kick to come out a little bit stronger, what I did is I copied this kick. So I went here and then I cloned this track. And I did that two extra times. As you can see right here, right next to each other. So when you clone them, like right now I cloned it and it's all the way down here, but I want my kicks to be together. So you just hold it right here and you drag it up, boom. And it's all the kicks all together. Now, why did I do three kicks? Well, I left the first kick in the middle. So the panning is at zero. Then I took the other two kicks. I panned one to the left. And I panned the other one to the right. So now it sounds um, a lot stronger than if I had just this one by itself. So if I just had this one, let's take a listen to it. And it sounds good. But in the mix, it doesn't come out as punchy and through the music like I want it to. So then when you you'd pan one to the right, one to the left, it comes out a lot punchier. See, it's more in your face. I know this is not the best kick in the world, but... All right? So if you want your, your kick to come out through the, uh, the beat louder, then that's what you can do with that. All right, so then from there, I went with the snare. Funny thing about the snare in this one is normally the snare will fall on the third one. So that would be the first, second, third, right? So it will fall right here. So let's change this real quick to bars and beats. Um, so if I was to hit play here, so it will be on the third beat. That's where it will fall. Um, but on this one, it didn't. It fell on the fourth beat to give it that, that kind of delay and it comes kind of late on the beat. So it doesn't fall where uh, uh, a snare would normally fall into. All right, so that would be for the uh, snare. Then for the bass, the ERS drums, which I'm gonna give you a link in the description below. Um, I didn't do anything special either here. I just kept it on the root note. That's it. Uh, so that's the D and I think that's a G. Yeah, so I kept D and G and then over here, uh, C and G. And that's it. That's all I did. I added actually this G down here because um, before all I had was just this one, the beginning one. Now, what did I do to this uh, to this uh, effects here? Let me show you real quick. So here I went into uh, effects and I added the crossover distortion. To do that very easy, you go into add effects and just write distortion. And then I chose this one. And then um, from there, uh, on the controls, I just put it all the way through like this. So if it didn't have this, if it didn't have this uh, distortion right here, 
actually let's do it this way let me turn it off this is what the 808 will sound like so that's without the distortion so then you add the effect and that's what the effects so uh, it doesn't sound that great but it, it, in the mix it sounds okay all right so that's it for for that one here so like i said all i did was the d which is the uh, root note for the beginning of the chord uh, then the second chord root note is a c then i added a g uh, over here on the bottom just to add a little flavor or bounce to it and then for the hi-hats very repetitive hi-hats they just go all the way through do, 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 do. then i added a little roll and then um i added another roll kind of lower down that's what it sounds like that was it that's all i did for the hi-hats um and i believe i showed you before where i got the hi-hats from so um to do that very easy you click uh, right here and you bring it down and then you just repeat it uh, it's time consuming but I, all i did is i did the first one here so so that way i won't take that long after i do that one i highlight all of them then i copy and i paste then you hit control and hold it and the hour to the right now you got a whole you know whole longer road so now you repeat the process one more time highlight it copy paste control arrow to the right there you have it and you didn't have to spend a ton of time so then to change this over here to make that roll what you do is you click here on the 116 on the queue you go down to 164 so i grabbed this one over here and i made it super tiny like that and then i just added another one right next to it like this let's do this again one more time and there you have it and then to make it go up and down like a stair you grab the first one here and you go down like that that's it so let's bring the other ones up and that's how you do the little stairs uh, that's what I call the stairs and then to bring this one down what you do is you highlight this one here boom like that then you control arrow down and now they're down here All right and then you erase them so you click on the erase and erase whatever you don't need like this one here let's put the pencil back up and put this one there uh once they're like this in order for you to uh to bring it back to this size what you do is you go back to 116 you click on one of them and then you just put it wherever you want it boom there you have it all right there we go all right all right so that's that for the hi-hats and then for this voice it was just me i recorded myself in audacity Hi. And then I brought it down an octave. And then I added echo to it. And that was it for the voice. And this is how I made the Drake beat as you heard it. So I hope that you learned something new. I hope that I helped you in some way. Um, again, this is all done with nothing but LMMS instrument. The only one that I brought that was different was the 808, which is the ERS drums. But other than that, everything is included right in LMMS as I show you in the first five minutes. So just to show you that you can get creative and you can create your own thing. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you learned something new from this channel. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.